My next guest has her own Comedy Central special and a nationally syndicated radio show. Please welcome Corey Kahaney. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so, it's, thank you for having me. It's such a privilege to be here. I love this job. Can I tell you, I, I love this job because I love the hours. Look at this. I just started, <laughs> and I'm almost done. I love this. I was at a party, and someone said, you know, what do you do? And I said, I'm a comedian. And they looked at me with shock and horror, and they were like, oh, that is the hardest job. I could never do that job. You have the hardest job. And obviously, this person doesn't know. I work an hour a night, including the commute. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, it's not the hardest job. I mean, Cosby's lawyer has a hard job. <laughs> right? Donald, Donald Trump's barber has a hard job. <laughs> Hil Hillary Clinton's IT guy has a very hard job. Uh, I have a husband. He's nice. People like him. Uh, we have a good marriage. I consider myself happily married. I know that my husband would like to be having a little bit more sex, but you know, in this economy, he can't afford it. And that is sad. <laughs> sad. Oh, come on, we're all pinching pennies. We're all, I filled out a credit card application, and you know where it says other income? I put other credit cards. <laughs> But you know what? It's not all bad news. I, I think the last eight years have been pretty good for the gay community, wouldn't you say? Yes? <laughs> and I think that's wonderful. I have a gay sister, I do, which has been great for me because my parents have forgiven me everything. <laughs> and... I mean, you know, listen, it, it's, it's nice, it's easy now, but it wasn't so easy. My sister came out 20 years ago, and, you know, it was, it, it was very hard. I remember my mother didn't take it well. She was like, oh, we'll never dance at her wedding. And my father was like, shut up, we just saved 50 grand. And so... <laughs> also, how about Great Britain? Great Britain was second uh, female prime minister. How amazing, right? <laughs> It's, and you know what? I think that sends such a powerful message, don't you think? That a woman has just as good a chance of winning as a man, especially when no men want that job. <laughs> my, son, uh, my son says to me, he goes, Mommy, are we members of the Democratic Party or are we members of the Republican Party? And I said, we are members of Costco. <laughs> You know, it's very easy to blame the 1% in this country. You know what? It's very... I am going to defend the 1% for just a minute. May I? Because I had a gig this year in Hong Kong, right? And they flew me business class. But when I went to check in, they were out of business class. So they upgraded me to first class. I spent 14 hours in first class. I have never experienced that level. Now, I mean, I had steak, I had lobster, I had champagne. I understand why the 1% wants to hold on to their money. <laughs> People were like, Corey, how was China? I was like, the flight was amazing. <laughs> and now that I've, I've experienced that level of service, I could see myself making some <laughs> moves. I mean, what if they gave me the choice? Uh, Corey, you could fly first class to Australia, or a small African village could have water. <laughs> I would have a lot of questions. <laughs> Is it a temporary water thing? Uh, have they never had water before? Because maybe they wouldn't miss it. How about, how about, how about, how about I ship water? I could ship water, because I, I get a great deal. I'm a Costco member. Uh, <laughs> my son is in uh, fifth grade, or as I like to call it, the last year I'll be able to help with his homework. And uh, he is so obsessed with this, this election. It's so funny. He's always asking questions. He goes, Mommy, explain to me the difference between a Democrat and a Republican. And this was the best I could come up with. I said, OK, as I understand it, a Democrat is like this really nice aunt 
who promises to take you to Disney World, but then something always comes up and she never comes through. <laughs> and a Republican is like this really grumpy uncle. Yeah, and he tells you he, he can't afford Disney World, but then you find out that he went without you. <laughs>